MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Here's a quick video to make sure you understand how to spread your chops or your kits across the keyboard. Now, I did do one on the original machine a while ago, but of course, you know, things have changed a little bit in 2.0, so we just want to make sure you understand it. So, you know, by default, you know, whatever pad you have, that's going to be spread across the keyboard. So if I got this drum, then it's just going to play that. It's going to pitch it up and down the keys. But what if you want to have all your drums spread across your keyboard? So, you know, we used to do the sounds, the MIDI notes and all that stuff. Now what you do is go over to the channel. So we're, we're going to be on the group instead of the sound. You want to be on the group. Go to the channel. Go to input. And for the source, you want to give it a MIDI source. So you can say all or if you want just a specific MIDI controller tied to that group, you can do that as well. I'm going to just put all. Then you want to give it a MIDI channel. So this is basically going to allow it to respond on a specific MIDI channel. I'm going to just choose MIDI channel 1 for this video. And then the next thing you want to do is your root note. Now what that's going to do is set where your kit or your chops are going to start on your keyboard. Right now it's on C1, but you can put that to pretty much whatever you want depending on how you have it set up. But now that we got this turned on, I can actually play those individual pads on my keys. That's pretty much it. Really straightforward. Like I said, you no longer have the sounds to MIDI notes set up. You just go directly to the group channel, go to the input page, and give it a MIDI channel. And like I said, you can assign any specific MIDI controller if you want. So if you just want like a specific keyboard assigned to this group, you can. If you want your iPad, if you want, you know, a specific set of pads, another pad controller, whatever you want, you can have it assigned to that. If you got another, you know, machine and you want to have that in MIDI mode and assign it to that group, you can do that. And it also works the same for your chops. So I'm going to turn this off and just show it in a group that has some chops in it. So I got chops on these pads. And let's say I want to assign that, so I'll just go to MIDI channel, I'll just say all, and then for the channel, I'm going to put it on one. And again, you can see the root note, that one's on C3, but if I want to, I can change it, I can put that on C1 as well. So it's really up to you. Let's say we want it back on C1. So now it's responding to C1, and I can play those chops on individual keys on my keyboard. So that's pretty much how you set it up. Like I said, the main thing you want to remember is if you're stuck looking for sounds to MIDI notes or the MIDI batch setup, that's no longer here. So you want to make sure you're on the channel tab. And then for the group, you want to go to the input, set your MIDI source, and set your MIDI channel. And if you want to, set your root note. So, of course, if you got any questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Peace.